Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Meet International Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS and flex and OIT training. And in today's magic bell session, we are going to discuss about research topic. Whatever the question which is asked previously in the exam, those questions I'm going to cover today. So whoever keep on watching our channel, please subscribe the channel. And if you like the video, please share the video to others also. And those who are new viewers, please subscribe the channel and then please watch the video. So let's begin the session without wasting the time. The first question is, which of the following clinical nursing practice is recommended as the most important to the healthcare and nursing professionals today? So in this, the key point, first we have to search it out. So the clinical nursing practice, recommended clinical nursing practice, okay, for healthcare workers, that's all. Okay, so they have given four options, primary care nursing, community-based nursing, authoritative nursing and evidence-based nursing. See, nursing, especially the clinical practice means immediately you have to think and recommend only the evidence-based nursing. Okay, so evidence-based nursing is the one which we are practicing now in the clinical aspects. Okay, so here, obviously, the right answer is going to be what? Option D, that is evidence-based nursing. So let's discuss about the rational, why we have to select the evidence-based nursing. See, evidence-based nursing means how we are getting the evidence-based nursing. Already some research has been done by some person, okay, related to some uh, clinical aspects, clinical nursing practice, okay. For example, hand washing technique, we can take hand washing technique. Already some researches has been done related to hand washing technique and then only they have said so these are all the techniques we have to follow in the hand washing to kill the germs. Okay, so that researcher, whatever the finding he have find out, they have informed it to us and we are practicing in the clinical area that is called as what clinical nursing practice according to the evidence. Whatever the evidence they have shown to us, we are following according to the evidence. That is called as what evidence-based practice. Here the clear uh, definition is given. Evidence-based practice involves identifying the solid research finding and implementing them in the nursing practice to improve the quality of the patient of the care. Very simple and best definition. Okay, so what is recommended in clinical nursing practice? Evidence-based nursing, that's all. Okay, so the next question is, child participation in decision-making process about the health care is termed as very important point, very important question. Many times this question asked in the examination. The key point here is child participation in decision-making process. Okay, for example, the child is posted for any surgery and there is no guardian for the uh, child and no one is there to take care properly. So that time the child has to take the decision on his or her own. So if in that case, it is called as the term it is called as what this is the question and they are given four options that is collegiality advocacy ethics and assent see collegiality means it is totally different from this question it is not at all related to this question collegiality means uh, we are working with our colleagues in the ho uh, hospital setup or working area and we are sharing our thoughts for the improvement that is collegiality okay so it is not at all related to this question advocacy means talking for the patient as a nurse okay so that is also not related to this question ethics means rules and regulation principles and the last one assent assent means it is totally related to this question that is child participation in decision making process about the health care is termed as assent okay so let's see the meaning of the assent in case the child age is 17 to 18 years. 18 less than 18 years, it is called as what minor, right? So 17 to 18 years and there is no guardian means we have to take opinion or consent from the child only. Because there is no guardian, obviously we have to take uh, consent from the child only. Okay, for example, the child is going for any surgery, any invasive procedures, whatever it is, immediately we have to explain each and everything to the patient that is child and we need to get the consent. Okay, even though the child is less than 18 years, we have to get consent from the child. So this statement, it is called as what? Assent. A-S-S-E-N-T. The next question is, which of the following is not an element of the informed consent? So informed consent, what are all the element is present and what is not present? Okay, so it is a direct question and they have given four options like purpose of the study, 
offer answer only for the selected question subject selection process alternative procedure if any are disclosed so four option they have given here so here the question is not question except question fine so what are all the element of informed consent we should know what are all the element of informed consent then only we can answer this question the element of informed consent or here the answer we can discuss later first let's see about the elements so the elements of informed consent of purpose of the study we have to explain why we are doing this procedure for example you are taking the consent from your uh, patient who is going for the surgery means first you should tell why we are doing this or getting this consent okay otherwise if the uh, uh, group of study participants are there they are involving in your study means we have to explain each and every aspect of the study after that only we have to get the consent so purpose of the study subject selection process what are all the risk and benefits are there if the participants are participating in the research alternative procedures or any treatment is there means that is also we have to explain to the uh, population okay and if they are asking any question we have to answer each and every uh, question whatever they are asking so these are all the things coming under what element of informed consent so element of informed consent means everything I have given here okay just purpose of the study has to be informed to the population subject selection process has to be informed alternative procedure if we are doing means that is also informed to the patient okay fine but offer answer only for the selected question it is not right okay offer answer only for the selected question is not right we have to answer for all the questions whatever we are giving to the populations okay so here it is a except question so i am selected what which answer option b as the correct one the next question is which of the following is not considered as a component of the research problem research problem is nothing but statement of problem okay so uh, you would have been come across the research in the final year right so here also i have added one statement of problem you can you can see in the example a descriptive study on the prevalence of the pin site care among patients with external skeletal fixation in orthopedic ward aims new delhi so this is the statement of problem okay so here they are asking the components of statement of problem components means i have highlighted here you can see research design variable population research renting these things are coming under what components okay so now we can go to the jump to the options whatever they have given here research instruments whether research instruments is present here no okay but variables study population study research setting everything is present here so it is a except question so which is the right answer option a is the right answer okay fine the next one which variable is manipulated in experimental research see two types of variable is present guys okay so if you take a experimental de uh, design two types of variables will be present independent variable dependent variable so first you should know that concept in a statement of problem especially the experimental design two types of variables will be there experimental sorry uh, independent variable and dependent variable so among these two variable which variable can be manipulated this is the question among the independent variable and dependent variable which variable can be manipulated so here the right answer is four option they have given here independent variable dependent variable outcome variable criterion variable so here the right answer is option a that is independent variable we can change the independent variable we cannot change the dependent variable please keep in mind we can change the independent variable but we cannot change what dependent variable i have given one example also please make a note of it a simple example for your better understanding this is the independent variable this is the dependent variable as i mentioned already independent variable can be changeable right so here there is a pot plant is present and we are pouring amount of water okay so the amount of water is the independent variable the amount of water is a independent variable we can uh, pour one uh, liter of water or we can pour 500 ml of water or we can pour 250 ml of water or we can pour uh, 1500 ml of water we can change the independent variable we can change the quantity of water right the same way we can change the independent variable it is our choice whereas dependent variable is not under our choice the dependent variable the best example is the pot and the plant 
it is not under our control okay but amount of water we are pouring it is coming under what our control okay so amount of water is a independent variable pot and plant is a dependent variable so which can be changeable independent variable can be changeable please keep this in mind okay simple concept only okay so thank you guys so today we have discussed about research question whatever asked previously in the north set as well as in jigmer examination please make a note of it if you not understand the concept again and again watch the video otherwise drop your message in the comment section i will be answering you thank you very much and all the best for your upcoming examinations